Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the following question. And this question is, what are great software testing online courses out there? Just to mention in the beginning, there's so many, many, many great online resources out there in the software testing community that you can browse through your browser and you can search for them. In this video, I'd like to focus on four areas. And there's like a already quick disclaimer that I would highlight here. None of the courses that I'm going to mention here have paid me anything. So I just picked them because I think they're really valuable for us software testers and for the whole community. And there's another thing that I would like to highlight. Every software tester and every individual person has a different learning path and speed. This is also something you should keep in mind when you look for online testing courses, because some of them offer a different skill level, they have different requirements. So I highly recommend you to do some research up front and also to define your personal goal. What are the things that you would like to learn as a software tester? Being it a better test automation engineer, you want to learn more test techniques, you just want to get an overview of what's curious or what's going to happen in the software testing community at the moment or things like that. So there's lots of great content out there and depending on your requirements and also on your learning um, path, you have to change the right thing um, for you. And maybe this video um, might help you to find the right path and also the right content. So let's get started. Shut up and take my money. What's that guy? Yes, this is also something I would like to mention is online courses might cost some money and you should not reject those courses because some of them put a lot of effort into the creation of the content, right? They have like hours of hours of education, of training, preparation, of workshop, of doing some filming, doing some scripting, some PowerPoint slide editing and so forth and so forth. And this is also, it's a business, right? People want to learn something, they provide you with a content and they might cost some money. So don't say no to those courses. On the other hand, it's really great that we have so many free online courses out there that you can choose and pick from. And also from the community, we have lots of great community driven content that will definitely help you to grow as a software tester and to learn something new. So let's take a look what I've um, prepared for today. The first one, or the, that's actually the overview already, and the four areas I would like to talk today is, the first one is, you might know already the logo, the Ninja is the community of Ministry of Testing. What kind of things do they offer? What is the really big benefit from this online content um, platform? And what you can choose and why you should pick it. Second one, the television, is it's, it's just a place that I haven't found anything better. It's like general online courses, tutorials, blogs that are out there that already like a really good starting point for you when you want to learn something about software testing. Uh, if you're more in the, in the technical side of, testings, uh, of testing, then you might already know the Test Automation University powered by Apple Tools. This is also something we'd like to talk about today. And the last, um, the last bucket that I brought for you today is Udemy. Yeah, I think the most of you know it already. It's like also a nice content platform where you can search for software testing content and you can learn from that content. So let's dive a bit deeper into the topic. Ministry of Testing. It's a testing community, right? It's like a really well-established testing community. And it was founded uh, some years ago in England by Rosie Sherry. It's now headed by uh, Richard Bradshaw and his, his team. Um, and they offer like a really, really great community. And the great and the cool thing about it, um, they have lots and lots of articles, discussions, events, podcasts. Now they have courses in some years. And this is a really great content catalog for software testers that you could that you should have that you have to check right because it's really really well valuable for everyone who's working in the software testing industry or who wants to get into the software testing industry as i said it's a lot of free content you can have lots of articles that you can read through podcasts listen to podcasts you have some free events they do sometimes some live events ask me anything events or master classes where you can sign up for free and listen to experts from the industry i think this is this is really outstanding and something you should really consider to take a look at. 
Um, of course, as I said, content costs sometimes money. They offer a yearly subscription um, with access to courses and conferences. So not everything that you have that I have mentioned is for free. Um, so, for example, all the dojo con uh, all the dojo courses and conference recordings. So all test bash recordings. Test bash is the testing conference provided by Ministry of Testing. All the talks will be are going to be recorded and you have access to um, through the pro subscription to that recordings and this, this, this is just great. In a second I can show you some numbers on how many uh, videos you can or talks you can listen to. And there it is already. They have more than 25 uh, testing courses, testing relevant courses that you can go through. Um, and this is really great. Connected to the courses, they have the, the so-called club, the Ministry of Testing Club, where you can ask questions. It, it's a forum. So, and each uh, content creator has their own um, forum section there. And you can ask specific questions to the course and get direct feedback from the expert and from the trainer, which I think is really great. And you have access to more than 450 conference talks. It's amazing, right? So it's a lots and lots of content that you can browse through, that you can listen to, that you can watch. And it's just great. And I can only highly recommend you the Ministry of Testing um, community. And if you would like to spend some money, go and check out the yearly subscription. And here you can see uh, a rough list of, of the courses that they offer. So it's like a little, um, a little overview of, of just the courses. And I also make uh, sure that you have seen the link and I will also put down the, all the links from today's video in the, in the video description so that you can browse them um, later at your speed. So that's it for the Ministry of Testing. Let's go to the Test Automation University. What do they offer? Yes, it's already the title, Test Automation University. They offer um, test automation courses and that's the focus. That's the main focus of the online content platform. It's all about test automation. You can learn almost about all the default standard tools out there on test automation, being it's Lenium, Cypress, Appium, API tools, and so forth and so forth. Everything on different programming languages, it's just great. You can sign up for free and browse the content for free. It's really great. It's free courses, and the thing is, you get a certification afterwards, right? Everyone who loves certifications, make sure to uh, also watch the video that I have um, um, already um, put online about software testing certifications. Um, and you get a certification, you can put it onto your CV and your LinkedIn profile, for example, and it, it already gives you some credits in, in maybe in the next hiring interview. Um, what do they offer? They have more than 60 automation courses. Um, so that's already great. And those 60 courses are divided in more than 10 learning paths. So if you decide to learn more about Java, there's like a Java learning path. If you decide to want to learn to go on, on Cypress, there's a Cypress learning path and so forth and so forth. So depending on what you would like to learn, also to coming back to the beginning of this video, depending on your learning path, your learning skill and your learning speed, you can pick the right learning path for you to become a better test automation engineer in the end. It's powered by Apply Tools. Yes, they do everything around that topic. It's really great what Apply Tools has done and especially Angie Jones for the test automation community. It's really great. And but it's not only by done by one person. They have like um, more than 40 testing experts from um, from all over the world who created content for the test automation university. And that's really great. And it's again, it shows how great the software testing community is, how open-minded those people are to share their knowledge and to help other people become better. And again, here's a quick screen record of the, the courses that they offer. I know it's just too fast to see what's going uh, on there, but I just want to highlight how many different test automation courses you can take there. And again, there's the link down there Make sure to, to sign up and to see what's going on there. Next topic is the Udemy. Yes, for those who don't know, Udemy is uh, one of the biggest online courses um, on the internet, provider of, of online courses. It's not only software testing, it's, it's all kinds of, of uh, online courses that you can take. There are more than 180,000 online courses that you can take, being in testing, development, design, product management, whatever you can think of is there. You can just browse the catalog and pick the, the courses that you would like to attend. 
it offers also a broad variety of software testing courses, of course. You can just search for software testing or follow the link that I put down uh, later for you in the description. Um, that's payment only. You have to pay uh, per course. That's that's also something that I think it's really interesting because you don't have like a yearly subscription, even though you can do that. Um, but you can pay only for a certain course. So if you you read through the uh, through the content and you think this might be of interest for me, you pay I don't know some euros, some dollars on that course. You take the course and that's it. You don't have to pay more than that. I think that's great. Um, there's also Udemy for business and for companies especially. So maybe your company uh, is offering Udemy for business for you. So then you can also um, get a Udemy business account and you can browse the catalog for free because your company is paying for it. And again, here's the catalog. It's also um, uh, an excerpt only on the software testing thing. Also, the nice thing here is it's um, it's also a bit of community driven. You can rate the courses and you see the, the typical five star ratings. Um, what others uh, thought of the course, they give direct feedback and it gives you guidance if this course might be helpful and beneficial. What are other resources that I would like to recommend today? It's the four hour tester. For those who don't know, it's, uh, it's a really nice and simple website where you can go to, again, link is later in the description, and there you can do some exercises on specific testing topics. And there are also some people from the community who shared their experience and their solutions already on their page as well, but it gives you an idea what you can do if you have like four hours spare time and you want to learn something new about testing, testing techniques. Take a look there. Yeah, software testing videos and channels, right? You're watching my video today, thanks for that. Um, there are like lots of uh, really nice YouTube video channels out there that cover software testing, development, and so forth and so forth. Um, just use the search function of your favorite um, video split or streaming platform and, and take a look at those channels. There's always really nice content that you can browse through and most of the time it's for free. Software testing certificates, yes, again, certificates. Um, it might also be an, a really helpful thing for you to grow and to learn something new. Make sure to watch the software testing certificates video that I put online already. Um, it gives you some, some insights on the, the good and the bad thing about software certificates and also my standpoint. What do I think about software testing certificates? Testing podcasts. Yes, there's like a lot of list, uh, a lot of things of testing podcasts out there. Also, I make, uh, I will link some some of the podcasts that I'm listening to in the description that also may help you to learn something new on testing. Blogs and tutorials from testing experts. Yes, again, there are like lots and lots of content on blogs out there. Really nice tutorials, how to do some tough software testing techniques or some how to set up some tools, how to use the tools and so forth and so forth. I'll also make sure you link some of the nice blogs uh, in the description that you can browse through that might help you to get um, some new ideas for your new testing activities. And here's my summary on testing online courses. Yes, there's lots of free content out and that's great. Make sure to browse the, the catalogs and see what's helpful for you to learn something new. Maybe you, you define your own goals for example, what do I want to learn in the next year, in the next month, in the next weeks? And based on that goals, you can derive some steps that you can take, being it watching a conference talk on the specific topic, read some content or do some online classes. Make up your mind about the learning goals. I was already too fast with that topic. Yes, this is important. Select the right course for you. And again here, don't listen too much to others and to other people, because as I said in the beginning, everybody has their own learning speed and learning path. Make up your mind and then decide what you would like to do. And then the only thing that I can say, get started and never stop learning, never settle, because I think this is important. This is important for us. This is important for our community that we grow, that we learn new things and that we also share this knowledge with others. And with that, I would like to thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is the case, make sure to give me a thumb up. Uh, if you haven't done, make sure to subscribe to my video channel. And I'm happy to see you again. Bye bye.